Prince Andrew and the Queen have a close mother and son bond. While Queen Elizabeth II was a fairly distant mother to Prince Charles, she was much more hands-on with Andrew and Edward. A royal commentator has claimed the Queen's doting behavior towards Andrew reportedly caused him to become too self-important. Prince Andrew was not raised as heir to the throne as that position belonged to his big brother Prince Charles. While Charles may have received preferential treatment from royal courtiers his relationship with his mother remained fairly distant. The Queen ascended the throne when Charles was just three years old and the magnitude of her new role meant she wasn't as available to mother Charles. By the time Prince Andrew was born in 1960, the Queen had settled into her role as monarch and was able to spend more time with him than she had with Princess Anne and Charles. One royal commentator has claimed the extra time the Queen spent with Andrew may have led him to become spoiled and to have an overblown sense go his royal status. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam told, Andrew was fortunate in that the Queen was able to spend much more time with him than with her older children. She was able to relax much more with him but there is little doubt that he was indulged as a child, being a spare but also as second in line to the throne he reportedly was too self-important. According to Mr. Fitzwilliams, the Queen was particularly proud of Andrew's role in the military during the Falklands conflict. He said, there is no doubt that she was proud of his service as a helicopter pilot in the Falklands, continuing the royal military tradition and he seems to have been most at ease in the Navy. Mr. Fitzwilliams branded Andrew's marriage to Sarah Ferguson as disastrous and irresponsible. He said, it remains a great shame that his romance with Ku Stark floundered and that his choice of Sarah Ferguson was so disastrous. Though they remain very close, she was totally irresponsible both as a royal and also has often been after their divorce. Prince Andrew's sense of judgment has been scrutinized in recent weeks following the death of his friend disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein who was awaiting trial for child sex trafficking charges. While Prince Andrew has categorically denied any connection to the allegations made against Mr. Epstein, their friendship has marred Prince's reputation. Mr. Fitzwilliams said, his judgment, especially over his friendships such as Epstein has clouded his career since he left the Navy and cost him his job as UK Special Trade Representative. It appears to be a serious threat to his reputation at the moment. A Buckingham Palace statement released on Sunday said the Prince was appalled by the recent reports of Epstein's crimes. His Royal Highness deplores the exploitation of any human being and the suggestion he would condone, participate in or encourage any such behavior is abhorrent, it said. The royal family is once again thrown into turmoil. Recently unearthed FBI files have revealed Prince Charles's closest confidant, Lord Mountbatten, was accused of having a perversion for young boys by a friend of the Queen Mother. Once described by Charles as the grandfather I never had, the last Viceroy of India was mentioned in a 1944 FBI interview with the Baroness Desis. It revealed she considered him and his wife, persons of extremely low morals, adding, she stated that Lord Louis Mountbatten was known to be a homosexual with a perversion for young boys. Another source said his preference for young men made him an unfit man to direct any sort of military operations. Mountbatten's sexuality and many extramarital affairs was a frequent topic of society gossip before his death in 1979. In a letter to Charles, he wrote, the man should sow his wild oats and have as many affairs as he can before settling down. The revelation comes as a string of old royal family wounds have been reopened this week, throwing the notoriously uptight Charles into a spin. He's reportedly less than thrilled that his feuds with his siblings, Prince Andrew, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward are coming under new scrutiny, as the royal house reels over Andrew's own sex scandal. New Idea Royals podcast host Smitha Mystery quizzed royal expert Angela Mollard over the recently re-emerging tensions between the siblings. It's almost like the Queen had two sets of children isn't it? She asked. That's right, she had Charles and Anne, then a decade later had Andrew and Edward, so it's almost like two distinct families, Angela replied. She continued, they're very different, all four of them. You've got Anne who's incredibly strong-willed and forthright. She gets on very well with Prince Philip, she's his favorite. Charles, 
who is a softer, gentler character who really did need better parenting, he needed closer parenting. The royal foursome were last seen together in June at the Trooping the Color. With new tensions building over old rifts, it remains to be seen when they'll be seen together again.